You know what conviction is known as? The highest level of conviction is known as Ihsan. You and I know Islam, you're a Muslim. Iman, you're a Mu'min. Iman means belief within your heart. It's a slightly higher level than Islam. Islam here referring to the practical or the actions that you would engage in. When they say the pillars of Islam are five, they mention that which you can see a person do with your own eyes. Whether they declare the Shahada or they fulfill their Salah or they abstain from food in Ramadan or they give uh, charities to the poor or they are going for Hajj. Actions, you can see them. When it comes to the pillars of Iman, you cannot see. They are all in the heart. Six pillars of Iman. Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubi. I believe in Allah, in the angels, in the books, in the prophets, etc, etc. You don't know that. I'm just claiming it. It's inside the heart. It's between me and Allah. But there's one level higher than that. In the hadith of Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, he asked, Mal ihsan. So the Prophet sallallahu says, Al ihsanu an ta'bud Allah ka anna ka tarah. Fa in lam takun tarahu fa innahu yarak. Ihsan is the highest level of conviction such that when I'm worshipping Allah, I'm convinced it's either as though I can see him or if not, then I know for a fact he is watching me and he can see me. So when I say Allahu Akbar, I know Allah is watching me. I'm convinced that's called Ihsan. So Allah says, if a person has the quality of Ihsan and the quality of Taqwa, which would come hand in hand, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives that person authority as well as knowledge. You know, in one of the verses of Surah Al-Baqarah, towards the end, Allah says, be conscious of Allah and Allah will teach you. Allah will give you the knowledge. You really desperately want sound knowledge? Be conscious of Allah, develop taqwa, develop piety. Allah will give you that knowledge. As simple as that.